Okay, welcome back. We've got a quick introduction to views. In this video, we will talk about adding a fit line to a scatter plot. The previous video showed how to generate a scatter plot with error bars from a data set that we entered manually. To add a fit is actually very straightforward. We just make sure that the graph is selected that we want to add the fit to. Uh, we can click on this fit icon, fit a function to data and it will default to a linear function. You can type in any function that you would like and choose from any parameters, but often we'd like to be plotting a linear function, especially because that gives us the most uh, likely uh, match to a particular model. In this case, we want to fit the x data of distance and y data of depth. So you do have to specify the data that you want to fit. Right now we won't select a range to fit. We'll fit all five of these data points. And we can see um, the other options here. We can, we can add key text for the, the data fit and things like that. We'll actually do those later on. So the first thing you do is immediately try fitting that function and it will draw a line of fit. It will also, as we're very interested, report the fit results with error bars. And even more importantly, these error bars on the fit correspond to the uncertainty in the data points. So I'll demonstrate why we know that for sure. Uh, because we've got a uh, slope fit of minus 24 plus or minus 4.5. Now if we go in and edit our data, so data editor, and reduce the error quite a bit. So let's put in 5 for each of these symmetric errors. Update that. You notice the data shrunk those vertical error bars shrunk quite a bit. Our fit hasn't changed, but that's because it was already run once. We need to run that fit again. So we just click on fit function, and we notice that the uncertainty has now dropped to plus or minus 1.58, almost 1.6. This fit is actually very sophisticated in terms of the statistics that it's applying. So it's actually using least squared fit uh, and reporting the associated error based on the uh, specified error in the measured data. So this is much more advanced than the linear estimator function in Excel and far better than the simple trend line options in Excel. Now, if we were to make this a publication quality figure, we still have to do a few things. In particular, we want to add a legend. So that happens here with a plot key. Right now, we only have experimental data listed. That's because their fit doesn't have any key text specified. So we can now add linear fit to that, and we see that that's specified here. Now, of course, we might want to move that, so it's always good to put that out of the way of the data. Leave that highlighted there. And you'll notice that that red error, those red dashed lines are only to indicate that it's selected. If we click off of this graph uh, and select the whole page, we see that the, the graph, in fact, looks looks very nice. We've got good, good frame, clean um, error bars indicated, you can certainly change other settings that you'd like, but the defaults generally are very good in views. Uh, in particular, if you wanted to change the colors or the styles of these bars, that is taken care of in the Edit menu, Default Styles. You can change the styles of all these items. So if we wanted to change the font, often you want to do a, serif, a sans serif font, something like Arial. A lot of publications require that. You'll see that we've got a, a nice crisp font there. Uh, the fit, uh, the, the x, y options here are at the very bottom. In particular, you can choose the marker to be a different circle or a different shape or a different color. Um, in this case, we'd like the error bars to actually be bars with ends. That's kind of a more typical indication of error. And you can, of course, change the colors of the plot line. Um, in this case, we can actually just hide that plot line. We usually want our data to be points and our fits to be the line. So you shouldn't have, often shouldn't have a line connecting the data. Uh, you can close that. If there's other things you'd like to change, you can change the marker colors, borders, fill the error bars, width, and things like that. If we wanted to change the width of the error bar lines to be a little bit thicker so they, they show up better when you print the data, that would be a reasonable thing to do. And you could change the fit line as well. If you want to change the color of the fit line, that's going to be here under this option. You can change the width of that fit line as well. 
I accidentally scrolled and changed the style. Solid line is usually just fine. And then we can close. So that is a nice updated figure with a few extra settings. And uh, we'll put out a few other videos about how to do this kind of thing. Stay tuned.